Welcome back. The Camilla Gate tapes and the Squidgy tapes eavesdropped on the telephone conversations of the Royals. Scanners is the first in a series of CDs that ta taps into the phone conversations of ordinary folk. The CDs are the work of a group calling themselves Ash International. We have with us a spokesperson from the group, but first, here's a snippet. From, um, thing you bought. Eve? Yep. How, how many? Uh, 50. Have you? Yep. Um... Yeah, 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 not all, you know me. That's, how much are they? What's that? How much are they? Well, I want to try and get rid of the bulk. All oh, right, you know. Mm. Mm. No, 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 I don't. You, you, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> you know me, I can't do it. Well, if it's a bulk, then it's yeah. every week, every week, you know what I mean? But how, no, no, we, you know how often we take it? Oh, you're dunking now. <laughs> no, you know what, well, no, how often? Is it every two and a half months, once? Really? That's all it is. Well, you buy a supplier, you know, you got to do Oh, bloody hell, no. Are they good ones? Oh, the best. Yeah? The best. Keep about ten for me. How much are they? The best. Robin, thanks for joining us. What was all that about? That was uh, a young lad dealing in ecstasy over in South London trying to buy some of a colleague of his, I think. I must ask, why are you wearing a mask? Is it... Is it illegal to tap people's phones? Basically, under the Wireless Act, I think it's 1954, tapping into a, a, a telephone line is illegal and I stand to go to prison for three years as do the other members of Ash International. Well, what exactly is scanning? How does it work and what is Ash International? Ash International is a collective of artists who have worked together over the last 15 years and we collect together tapes and recordings and sort of thing and work together. Scanner, the latest release, uh, you'll see that Linda has in her palm, hopefully, uh, one of the scans with the human bodies in a local store. And you sit at home and you scan through the airways, picking up personal phones, so on and so How much do they cost? They cost about... No, 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 no. In your press propaganda, you say that Camilla Gate and Squidgy, they're old hat. Why? Well, we've been doing the work for 15 years. 15 years ago, we were intercepting. I was still at school, I was intercepting other people's conversations in their homes at that point. So you nosy park. <laughs> so who buys your material? Uh, somebody out there, but it's sold 1,500 copies in three days. So, so and you were telling me just now that they've actually got a machine that intercepts people's faxes. I know, things get more and more, and more extreme. I mean, it's basically it's the Hello magazine, the uh, audio world, I think. Isn't eavesdropping a gross invasion of privacy? It is, but isn't everybody else a voyeur? Would, would you like to have your private phone calls tapped and, and played to other people? I'm not sure, sure but I don't, don't have a telephone, so I haven't actually had to go into that situation yet. What kind of calls do you most frequently intercept? Uh, I'd say 75% of the calls are personal conversations, intimate and probably of the brand's sexual nature. Can you tell us how the actual Squidgy and Camilla Gate saga came about, in your opinion? Well, well I, I didn't like to admit it at the time, time. we didn't really want, want to have a blow in there. That was you? That was, well, we didn't want to say any more about, about that. that. But but can you go to prison for this? We stand, stand to go to prison, prison as I say, and we either could get fined three thousand pounds as well. Well, I'm just getting some interference tapping into the studio oh. here to say we could talk all night. But Robin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Robin.